Hello and welcome to week 7 NFL predictions. There are a lot of big games this week, so let's get right into the first one, starting with the 5-0 Seahawks versus the 4-2 Cardinals. Now this is at Cardinals Stadium, and the Seahawks are coming off of a bye week, and the Cardinals are coming off of a big 38-10 win over Dallas. Uh, I think Russell Wilson has had a phenomenal season so far, 19 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. Kyler Murray has had a solid uh, 10 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. I think the Seahawks defense has struggled, though, against the pass game, and the, I think the Cardinals defense has had a, has been pretty solid the past few games. I think if they can contain Russell Wilson, I think they have a good shot at winning this one. And I'm going to go with the upset on this one. I'm going to say Cardinals win 24-28 to in a close game. The 2-3 and three Lions versus the 1-5 and five Falcons. The Lions are coming off of a big win over Jacksonville, 34-16. to And the Falcons are also coming off of a big win over the Vikings, 40-23. to I think Matt Ryan has had, a, has had a, a great season this year. I think he's been underrated with 11 touchdowns, 3 interceptions, 1,800 yards. Uh, I think their defense has struggled quite a bit this season, but I think they can pull out the victory on this one, 28-21. I say the Falcons win this one. Now the 1-4-1 and one Bengals versus the 4-2 and two Browns. Uh, the Browns were on a roll until last week when they played the Steelers and lost 38-7. to And the Bengals lost last week 31-27 to, uh, to the Indianapolis Colts. I think the Browns pick it back up again starting this week, and I think they pull out a 21-27 to victory over the Bengals. Now this is the game of the week, the 5-0 Steelers versus the 5-0 Titans, a game to see who remains undefeated. Now I went back and forth a lot on this one, but I think with the Steelers' defense, I think, they, I think they'll be able to stop the Titans' offense, and I think they'll be able to shut down Derrick Henry, and I think they do come out with a victory on this one, 35-30. to I think it's going to be a close game. Uh, I think it could go either way, but I think with the Steelers' defense being as solid as it's been this, this year, I think they're able to pull out the victory. Now the 3-3 three and three Panthers versus the 3-2 and two Saints. I think the Panthers' offense has struggled a lot this year, and I think both defenses have been pretty good this year, but I do see this one being a shootout, and I think Drew Brees comes out on top, uh, a 34-42 to win for the Saints. Now we have the 4-2 and two Bills versus the 0-6 Jets. Now this is at Jets Stadium, and... The Jets do have Sam Darnold back this week, but they look like they're tanking this year. And Josh Allen and the, and the Bills have had a great season so far. I think this is an easy 35-17 to win for the, for the Bills. Now we have the 2-4 Dallas Cowboys versus the 1-5 Washington no-names. Uh, the Cowboys lost Dak Prescott, which was a huge loss for them this year. I do think it's going to be a really close game, but I, th I think the Cowboys can pull out a 28-27 to uh, win. I think it's going to be extremely close. I think it's going to come down on the wire. Last second play, but I think the Cowboys can pull that one off. Now we have the 4-1 Green Bay Packers versus the 1-5 Houston Texans. The Texans have struggled a lot this year, and they're coming off of an overtime loss to the Tennessee Titans, 42-36. to I do think they pick it up the rest of the season, but I think Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers pull off a 35-27 to win over the Houston Texans. Now we have the 4-2 Buccaneers versus the 3-2 Raiders. The Raiders are coming off of a big win, 40-32 over the Chiefs last week, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are coming off of a big win, 38-10 over the Packers. Uh, I, th I don't think the Raiders' defense is going to be able to hold the Buccaneers' offense, and I think this is a, a solid 30-20 win for the Buccaneers. Now we have the 5-1 Chiefs versus the 2-3 Broncos. I think the Broncos' defense has done pretty good this year, but I don't think it's going to be able to keep up with the Chiefs' offense, and I think the Chiefs win big 31-17 over the Broncos. Now we have the 3-3 three three 49ers versus the 2-3 New England Patriots. Cam Newton has struggled a lot this year with two touchdowns, four interceptions. They're also coming off of a loss to the Denver Broncos, 18-12. 49ers are coming off of a big win over the Rams, though, 24-16. Uh, I do think this could this, this one could go either way, but I'm going to go with the uh, 49ers on this one, 17-14 over the Patriots. Now we have the 1-5 Jaguars versus the 1-4 Chargers. Both teams trying to get their second win of the season. I think the Chargers offense has done a pretty good job this year, and I think they've had some really close losses. I do think they're going to be able to win this one 28-21 over the Jaguars. This is the last game of the week. We have the 5-1 Bears versus the 4-2 Rams. I think the Bears offense has struggled this year, and they are coming off of a win over the Carolina Panthers, though, 23-16. And the Rams are coming off of a loss to the, from the 49ers, 24-16. I think the, the Rams offense has done pretty good this year, and I think both defenses have been pretty good. But I think the uh, LA Rams are going to win this one 27-17 over the Bears. Thank you for watching, and be sure to leave your predictions in the comments below. And I will be posting new uh, predictions every week, so stay tuned for that. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.